As a boy, as a man, my faith has grown. It uh, matured, I hope. But fundamentally, it's the faith of the church which has become my personal faith. And I think it's very important to know that the church has its faith, and it's from that faith that we, we, we feed on that faith. I was uh, given Motherwell because I, I was born there. And I used to go out for weekends from Friday till Monday in different parishes and soon got a, had to be in amongst the people. I wanted to, to be close to them and help them to, to develop these new skills that are required for the, this new church that we were building after Vatican II, which was the Church of Family the people of God and if you have authority in that family you have it because you are called to serve the rest and not to dominate. One of the things that helps me to keep my feet in the ground is um, a little phrase that Father Sidney McEwen, tenor, wrote on his breviary. And somebody told me this when he died, and I put it into my own breviary. And it's this, remember that after the game, the bishop and the pawn go back into the same box. And really, if the Pope has made me a cardinal, it's for others. And if, he, if God gives you a gift, it's because I think he wants you to serve him that bit more. So, there is a lot of razzmatazz, and it's very enjoyable, and people love it. And why not? Because the, the life can be pretty dreary at times. And all these folk that have come out here to share this joy with the Holy Father, they know that I am more their servant than ever. be the greatest theologian in the world, I might be the greatest bishop in the world. If I haven't got love of the poor and the oppressed and, and the compassion of Jesus Christ, I'm nothing. It's all, it's all tinsel, it's all an ego trip. That's my prayer for you, all of you. <laughs>